All right, we have left North Carolina and now we're headed to Georgia. We're headed to Augusta, Georgia. Uh, this is actually the place that Augusta Lawn Care is named after somewhat because of the Masters, which happened last week. We barely missed it. Headed down there three hours though, me with Brian and his team. It's a pretty big company here. Uh, they're shooting for a million dollars in revenue this year. I think they'll easily surpass it. Last month alone, in the month of uh, March, they did 365 estimates. So they're growing very quickly. And so they're going through a lot of growing pains and they're just getting more personnel and management and they have a treatment division and landscaping and projects and all the rest of it. So we're going down there specifically to kind of get some marketing material around treatments and spraying and fertilization because about half of our franchisees do it, half of them don't. So I want to get some specific videos and pictures of them today. And of course, we have some brain food. Quick tip, because my tortilla chips are my weakness in my diet, but if you have good guacamole and you have good carrots, it actually works pretty good. It's good travel food, mindless eating, and what's really cool is because the carrot gets stuck in your teeth, you kinda gotta enjoy it for about three or four hours after you eat the actual carrot. So very, very good tip for your travels. Gross. Incredible. Gentlemen. Hey, Mike. <laughs> good to see you guys. Good to see you. How you doing? Good. I was just yeah. commenting to Jesse. It kind of changes you, pretty quickly from that neighborhood over to this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is quite the neighborhood to be doing a, a shoot in. And then I was like, oh, okay, this is good. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. This might have been the one in the entire round. Uh, <laughs> I know they had some mole crickets. Y'all ever have any mole no, crickets? No, no. It must be a southern southern. It thing. is. Same thing. Like, even like fire ants. Like, we don't have, like, people don't oh, really? spray for ants. Like, nothing like that. Oh, wow. That's not, I guess because it gets so cold. And so what did they, they just kill the grass? See if we can find some signs of it. Yeah. Oh, here it is. See that, like it was raised right there? Yeah. And you can stick your finger in it. It was almost like a mole. Yeah, like a, like a small mole. Does the same thing, eats the roots. Do you usually make the mole cricket like a treatment like part of like a annual package? Um, you can, but it's so expensive. So it's 320. For spray? But you get, no, it's a granular. It's a granular. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this yeah. one's uh, better in a granular. It's actually, Does it kill them or kill their food source? or Kills them. Two. They're working together, moles and mole crickets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they might be. Yeah, it's bad. That's real bad. that you know I brought in from another commercial installer yeah. uh, I was like hey man uh, what are what aren't you comfortable with he's like I don't like doing uh, uh, hardscapes he's like no patios it's not cool so everything else irrigation uh, drainage uh, apparently walls and you know all the sod installs the grading everything yeah and so if I would have if he would have stayed just this year in, in general, yeah. and I got you know two months booked with all oh, these yeah. deposits, I'd have been screwed. <laughs> oh man! Was, was he trying? To, was he just trying to make the calls since like that was his what he thought was his division kind of thing? No, he was uh, uh, smoking weed. Uh, oh nice. On the uh, not on the properties, but he uh, come to find out, he, he'd always get there early, like before me. He'd be there like six fifteen. Yeah. And I'd be like, why is this guy getting here so early? Yeah. He was, he was, he was roll, rolling, rolling it up before the day, and like and then he would leave on a lunch break. Yeah. And then go smoke and uh, come back. And, yeah. But then he had an attitude or whatever too, right? Uh, yeah. He had. Uh, he was cocky. Yeah. Real cocky, and um, he didn't. He had all the talent in the world, but didn't want to. He picked when he wanted to use it. I think they're really great on that wall. Yeah. And then like a real simple um, sod repair. Uh, plant install just kind of because uh, he, he was did a drain on the job and then used like track through the yard instead of using the plywood like I asked him to oh yeah 
I was like, man, we gotta repair that. All right, right. And so instead of, you know, raking it out, the treads, yep. and getting it nice, you just put it on top. Soil on top? No, you just put the sod on top of the tracks. Went oh, without, mercy. You know, breaking it, putting some soil down, making it oh, nice and man. flat. So just little stuff like that. When someone has the talent and they choose when to use it, that's just, yeah. I'd rather somebody bust their ass and not have all that much talent. Right, right. try it yeah. every single time. But, but yeah, I was just, he just wasn't a good fit. Yeah. Good, I mean, nice stuff, guy. So would this be like manufacturing usually, right? Yeah, Probably. they, they, uh, this was their main, their manufacturing. They, cause they ordered their parts and put it together here. Right. So. Wow. Is there trouble getting the trucks in and out of here? Or not really? No. They go in really? real good. Uh, they'll, they'll pull up this way. Yep. Oh, and then back in? And then back into these little slots over here. Oh. They use these for the, uh. Uh, they lift the mowers. Lift the mowers up, yeah. change the blades. Yeah, that's cool. So. Oh, this is all one product. Yeah, this is all just the first. Trousers, trousers. So, it's actually coated, poly coated. That was the stuff he was putting down the day, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Cool. But this was uh, a Frankenstein. This one won't be. The trailer or yeah. the system? The, the trailer. I've uh, I had this custom built because um, I had in my head as an owner operator. I was like, hey, man, I can mo mow over on here. Yeah. Uh, and I did, I did it a couple times. I mowed and I, yeah. you know, would treat. And, but as far as. Once Jesse gets his, his next employee at the end of this year or the beginning of, of next, whenever we decide to yep. pull the trigger, we'll take these off, yep. these tanks, so we won't have to buy them. Yep. And they'll go on the bed of a truck. truck yeah. Yep. Yep. How many gallons is your tank on the back? Um, that one is 200 on the back of my truck. Yep. Uh, it's 200. Typically, you want to have 300. You right. Know, one that's 100, one that's 200. Right. Um, just around here, we have more Bermuda than yep. just about anything, so we yep. use the 200 for that. Oh, but cool. And tell them a little about what your target target is daily uh the target it's we try and get around 1500 in production a yep. day um it sits somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred got it um right now some days are a little bit lighter with where we're trying to build some yep. of our territories mm -hmm. between 200 and 250 thousand is what we're shooting for but right it kind of depends yep. because our minimum yard is forty dollars um that that goes anywhere between you know 500 square feet to four thousand square feet right um but I, right now we're sitting at about 370 okay. and i mean i've still got pretty big blocks of time to where yeah 